Hey Air Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading. This is for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we'll get your card to focus here. And then we'll go from there. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for our air signs in love today? Beautiful. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to giving and receiving the highest energy of all. Bottom of the deck and clarifying that is chemistry. There's a strong romantic attraction here. And then you have attraction right under that. So you have recently met somebody who um, you are most definitely highly attracted to. There's such a glare there. Mm. Okay. okay. Just do this. All right. So your guys' focus is it is safe for you to love. Okay. Okay. So the first three cards will be your guys' energy. The second three, that was the Ace of Wands that flipped there. I don't know. My lamp just, or my uh, overhead light just went out and I can't get it to turn back on. So not quite sure what's going on there. So we're doing it by lamp light. So sorry about how it's kind of dark in here now. Okay. Spirit guys and angels, what messages do you have for our air signs? All right, so you have the Four of Cups and Judgment and the Two of Wands. The person you are dealing with is, wow, the Four of Wands. The alchemist or the magician. The five of cups. And the empress. I'll get one more for you guys as well. The six of wands. Nice. All right. Spirit's advice is the Prince of Wands, what you don't know or see coming, is the Queen of Cups, and the potential outcome, wow, the King of Cups, that's crazy, okay. So let's see what we got going on here. Why is the Four of Cups here for our air signs? Jeez. Well, you got the Ace of Wands, the Magician, the Star, and the Knight of Wands. A couple too many. So in the past, it's like, wow. You guys are like totally mirroring each other. Four of Cups. So in the past, um, you you weren't seeing an opportunity to um, make this relationship stable. You weren't seeing an opportunity um, to make this relationship successful because you were very focused on um, other things, very focused on uh, other situations. Just You were very distracted in the past, Air Science. Um, you could have just gotten out of a relationship um, and you were focused on that ending, um, or you were focused instead of on, um, you know, instead of, how do I want to word that? This person could have been married and you were their third party or you were married and they were the third party. One of the two, um, is a possibility. We'll see if it, what We'll see what happens here. 
All right, so the Queen of Pentacles, which is the spouse card for me. So you're now seeing, you're now hearing the call. You're now seeing that cup that the universe has been trying to show you, but you weren't um, realizing that it could be yours. It could have been because you were in a marriage already um, or you're focused more on um, making something stable. But you are, you are, uh, you are getting an opportunity to focus on this connection, to really nurture it to, um, to a new beginning. Why is the alchemist here? Wow. So this person is ready to give you the love you want. They're ready to, uh, they're emotionally connected already. They're emotionally are ready to give you whatever it is that you want. They're, they're wanting to nurture and love you. They're wanting this relationship to manifest into a partnership. Um, they have, this person has taken down the three of cups to the two of cups. So they have eliminated um, somebody from their past. And you could have just been focusing on that they were, you know, with somebody else or, you know, but once you began to start loving and nurturing yourself, the universe is here to give you a second opportunity. They're manifesting a connection with you um, and you to them as well. But um, yeah, what a what an amazing connection. The the love that the two of you have for each other is very strong already. Um, you could have met them at a wedding also for some of you. Uh, why is the two of wands here? Why is the two of wands here for the air signs in the future? All right, so you need to be patient. This is going to, to go in your favor with that seven of pentacles. Um, you could be waiting for something to turn in your favor. You are wanting this to move in the direction of, um, of a commitment and it will it's just reminding you to please be patient because they have to end something that is going to hurt somebody they they have to release this three of cups right here so they can focus on the two of cups with you um, and that's what they're currently doing they know it's going to break their other person's heart but they are choosing you the mistress mister whatever you want to call it why is the five of cups here for their person yeah, they're ending something right now. Um, whatever that Three of Cups was to them, they are putting an end to that. They are walking away from it so they can start a new life um, with you. It is safe for you to love because it's going to be successful this time because you guys are doing it the right way. You just need to be remember to be patient that this transformation in their life, is it takes time. And your overall energy for you is... You're moving towards a successful, loving relationship. You're moving, wow, ace of wands on the bottom. This is going to be successful because you have put in the work to love and nurture yourself. The universe has seen that. They've taken notice, and now they know you're ready for this relationship. You can build a Ten of Cups life because you're bringing in um, your own cup, full and ready to give to somebody. Wow. Air signs. This is amazing. Their overall energy, they are moving towards you. Um, the two of you, they're wanting to manifest this. They want to create a new life with you. The way you guys are mirroring each other, um, this could be a twin flame soulmate connection. But the two of you are both coming in at your highest vibration and ready to build an empire together. Create a new life together. Wishes coming true together. Um, that's absolutely amazing. The Six of Wands and the Ace of Cups with the Emperor and Empress. Whew. All right, Spirit's advice, to live your life with passion, to move forward, to don't hold back, don't, wow, don't keep waiting around. <laughs> Look at that. You're going to come into a spiritual commitment with, um, with this person at your highest vibration after you take some time to rest and recuperate. Um, Spirit's advice is to move forward, to live your life passionately. Um, to be the empress, the goddess that you are meant to be, 
to dig deep into your spiritual teachings because when you come out of this time of rest, it's going to be time to step into your role as a divine feminine or masculine. What you don't know is this is the perfect vibrational match for you because your outcome is the king and queen of cups. So you not only have the emperor and the empress, you have the king and queen of cups. Um, you have the two of cups. You have judgment. You have the six of wands, the four of wands. This is screaming um, divine partnership all over it. Why don't they know the queen of cups is here? Way too many cards. <laughs> what you don't know is this person has just as much passion and love for you as you do for them. Um, they're going to express their feelings towards you very quickly. They could have not um, expressed how they really felt because they felt very tied to this other situation. Um, so the love for you was always there. It's always been there. But they haven't really voiced it. They haven't really spoken about how they want to move forward. Um They've been doing a lot of work while you've been sitting here waiting or sitting there um, not seeing the opportunity that the universe was giving you to fill your cup. But now that you've done that, they're back and they are coming forward to tell you how they truly feel. And the vibration they're coming in at is matching yours beautifully. Why is the King of Cups here for the potential outcome? All right, chariot at the bottom. Things are moving forward. They're moving towards victory, success. Um, for your outcome, you will be able to follow your heart as will they. Their balance are in check. Both of you know how you feel. Getting out of being stuck, getting out of this place of worry, moving towards patience and healing and just that divine union where the two souls get to come together and marry, making into one beautiful uh soulmate twin soul here this most definitely is moving forward um because it's protected by the divine there with the chariot so if this reading sounds like your situation and you'd like to see the extended join me over on the vimeo side where we will pull the zodiacs to see who's coming in who's going out um as well as any actions to take blocks to love and um a long or a uh, extended outcome view. So join me over there. All right, guys, thank you for watching my video. Please like, share, subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless.